absolutely love Toski. We get our acorns for the winter. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man of Man. And today we've got a juicer for you. We've got acorn hunting. We are hunting for acorns today. How are we gonna do it? With what? Who likes acorns? The squirrels do. Tasky, bear of secrets. This spell cannot be countered. It's indestructible. Attacks each turn if it's able to. Excuse me. Whenever a creature you control deals combat to, to a player, you're going to be able to draw a card. Now, this card has been in the format for a very, very long time, and I think that genuinely this is the, the brew that makes it all come together. We're going to be really hunting for acorns here. How else are we going hunting for acorns? Well, we got the Hunt Master. So we've got the Squirrel, we've got the Hunt, and we've got the Hunt Master. So Grizzle Hunt Master, whenever it enters the battlefield, it's kind of a mouthful here. This is an alchemy card. You may exile a creature card from your hand if you do search your hand library for each card. So you can kind of get rid of those pesky one drops that you might not want to draw into. So like if there's like a, if you got a couple Kami of Bamboo Groves in your hand, you can go ahead and ditch those away. And then we have a sideboard here. I'm gonna address the sideboard here very, very quickly here. Got Outland Liberator Kill Enchantments, Prosperous Innkeeper for a little bit of life gain slash uh, ramp. Um, we got Augur of Autumn, which lets you dig into your deck a little bit. Lupine Harbringers. Lupine Harbringers is basically just a second Uvenvald Oddity. Where is it? Where is it? There it is, Uvenvald Oddity. It's going to be a 4-4 Trample Haste that costs 4. So usually that's going to be your 99% of the time you're just going to want a Lupine Harbringers. Sometimes you'll take the Frogameth, and sometimes you'll take the Vorinclex. And I've never had this happen yet, but sometimes, I mean, Ravenous Linworth, it just gives you life. So we're kind of toolboxing here. I'm not going to lie, the toolboxing targets aren't phenomenal. Like, they are pretty decent, but I wish there was like a Reclamation Sage, just something that kind of does something like that. We got the Outland Liberator, but it does have to kill itself to, to destroy something. So the, the you could, I don't know. I mean, I, I definitely like it. I just wish that they were, they're a little bit underwhelming sometimes, but like I said, 99% of the time, you're just gonna take the Lupine Harbringers or the Frogmiths just for the Trample and the Haste ability, because you just want some extra firepower into this deck. So it's really, really good. We got Uven Velocity, obviously. You can go into Uvenvald Behemoth, which is quite the behemoth, but uh, yeah, everything else is kind of just old but gold. We got Old Growth Troll, Oldie but Goldie. We got the Grizzle Hunt Master, as we just described, and Jukai Liberator. This card is so, so good, so good. Between the Jukai Liberator, the Werewolf Pack Leader lets you draw cards, as we all know what this does. And then, like I said, the Liberator, whenever you deal damage, you're going to seek a permanent of chosen kind. And this is so good, because it's better than drawing, because you get to literally pick, do you want a land or a non-land? It's better than drawing, and it's just card advantage. And then Toski lets you draw. Pack Leader lets you draw when you swing with six or higher. Toski, you have to deal damage, and then you're, it's just there's so much uh, card advantage in this deck. I mean, Mono Green is officially back. We got the Kami of Bamboo Groves. I already made a video about this specifically, but this is what this is what Green needed. You have one one drop, sorry, one drop that can give you another land on turn one. That is what Green needs. Very very good card. Getting into like a turn two old growth troll, especially when you're on the play, is just disgusting and it's so so good. We got Blizzard Brawl. I'm only running three instead of four. I'm thinking about kicking this up to four, but it can be kind of dead. But yeah, you know, I, I think you can probably get away with running four here. Inscription of Abundance. I'm gonna go ahead and address this really quick. Inscription of Abundance is insane. It's so so insane. If you can use it with the kicker, there are so many different interactions that you can use that make this good. And I'm gonna tell you right now, nobody, nobody is expecting instant speed interaction in mono green nobody so you can swing in and they are not expecting this ever i'm telling you they never account for it it's never in their mindset it's never in their line it's never anything so I, I'm, I'm talking big here. You're gonna, you're gonna have to run Inscription of Abundance at least with three, because I'm telling you, if you can at least play it with the kicker or just in general, nobody is ever expecting instant speed interaction in this deck. It just doesn't happen. And then last but not least, we got the pack leader. Pack, no space leader. And then we've got the pack space leader. Not sure what that's all about, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not Lair of the Hydra. We're not running Faceless Haven or anything because, um, with uh, with all the green mana abilities um, or the green mana restrictions here, with three three greens specifically, we just can't really run the Faceless Haven. But other than that, this is the deck. Let's see if we can take Toski the Huntmaster. Mostly Toski. I'm really excited. Let's see if we can get some acorns for our buddy Toski. Let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Anti Schmo, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. Uh, pretty good hand. Nah. I mean, we're gonna need some. I would like to get a little bit, um, like an Uvenvold Oddity or something, or hopefully our beloved Toski. But still pretty cool here. We got both pack leaders here. I'm gonna say it a million times. Before these things rotate out, I'll probably say this about 500 times. This is pack leader with no space. This is pack leader with the space. I don't know. I don't know. 
bugs me a lot, but our opponent is taking quite some time here, so we'll go ahead and give them a hello. Gotta give them a hello. Sometimes they, sometimes you you, uh, you play more games with honey than you do with um, bees or whatever the heck that thing was. I don't know what I was going with that, but either way. We got a Junpai Liberator. Okay, the Junpai Liberator I think is actually better than going into the Werewolf Pack Leader. Let's go ahead and attack in here, and we're gonna be able to ninjutsu in this Liberator. I love this. It is so, so good. Let's go ahead and do this. Boom! And I'm actually going to take a non-land now. This is just so much card advantage. So, <laughs> we actually get another Liberator. And this is really good in Ninjas. It's good in Mono Green, as displayed here. A lot of different things we can do with the Jukai Liberator. We're going to go for Prosperous Innkeeper. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. So I would assume that they chump block here because I don't think they want to keep giving us free card advantage. So let's just go ahead and swing in here. Nothing too fancy about this. We're playing green. We're going to beat you face in. And we're not going to ninjutsu our ninja. That makes no sense. But we will take an extra non-land card here because we've already got five land. This deck doesn't run a whole lot of, uh, well, it doesn't run anything past four. So it's more important just to get the non-lands here. And we do get our Toski. We are on the, we are on the hunt for some acorns. I think we're going to get our acorns this match. I think we are. Let's drop our world pack leader space. Let's drop our pack leader no space. And then next turn, we can drop our Toski, depending on what they play here. And then we can start just drawing cards and like, oh my gosh, it gets so crazy. So they actually are running blue on top. And okay, so Inquisitor Captain. Okay. So hopefully they don't have like a Brutal Cathar. Oh, that'd be kind of yucky. That would be kind of yucky. Oh, yeah, it sucks. Skyclave Apparition does suck for sure. So they're going to get rid of our Jukai Liberator. It's not the end of the world, though, because I'm going to tell you what's going to happen here. Tell you what's going to happen here. We're going to drop our Toski, and two things are going to happen. The pack leader is going to go up to a 3-3 with the non-space. The space pack leader is going to be able to draw a card, because now with the Toski, we are going to be able to swing in with 6 power. So now we're drawing off this pack leader, and this pack leader doesn't get chumped. Or they, they can't... Yeah, whatever. You know what I mean. So let's go ahead and do a draw here. And now that this pack leader is going to be able to at least trade with the captain rather than just get obliterated by it. So this is really, really good here. I don't think that we mind that much, the Skyclave Apparition. So they're actually just going to trade this. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we're going to get a 3-3 back. And we get to draw a card. I mean, that is good. That is good. There's no way around it. That is really good value. Pretty cool here. And we're gonna go glass pool mimic. Okay, the Inquisitor Captain glass pool mimic combo. You know it's coming, so <laughs> please no, don't get another Skyclave. We we don't need any more removal. Oh boy. And they okay. Phew. So they're all out of creatures. So thank goodness they don't get another one. That would have been very disastrous. So we do get a little bit of a break there. Gotten some more land here. Let's go ahead and drop that. We can actually go for Grizzled Huntmaster at some point here. Let's go ahead and fix this up here. And we got to swing. We have to swing with Toski, so we are swinging with everything. We'll be able to draw some more cards with the pack later, which is very, very cool. Let's go ahead and do that at once. And let's see what they want to do here. Hopefully we can get into like an inscription of abundance. That card is busted in this deck. I want to say busted, but it's very, very good because nobody ever expects the uh the, in the instant speed interaction here so we're gonna take two trades the toski is going to die i think that's fine i mean it's not, we can we're gonna have to live with that so we'll go ahead and just say okay i don't want to keep up the the trample it doesn't seem like it's worth it we've already got a bunch of different cards here oh and they want a snake skin veil that is rough that is going to be rough here because now they, they get to keep one of their captains so very very rough stuff here we can go for a pack leader and then go for a grizzled hunt master. So let's go for the hunt master. We can get rid of the Kami here. Yep, let's get rid of you. And we can get rid of all of them in our deck as well. Because that is not a very good draw. So let's get rid of you. And how do we want to do this? I think at this point, one, two, I mean, we have all the land in the world. So we can actually just take our fattest thing that we have in here. We can actually just take a Vorinclex, which is pretty awesome. I think we're just going to do that. Let's just take our Vorinclex here. Let's go and scooch down here. And this Vorinclex is going to be, I mean, it, like I said, we the targets in our sideboard actually aren't, like, that phenomenal, honestly. They, um, I wish, I wish there was a lot more, like, when this 
you know, uh, what's that one card? The Reclamation Sage. I wish that the Reclamation Sage was um, a card that we could have to target. So the Moon Dancer is, is problematic here. We need to get into some removal. We ha we're running plenty of removal. We're running Blizzard Brawl and three Inscription of Abundance. So that is going to be the card I'm most wanting to get into here. I'm just going to drop the Vorinclex. We need to be aggressive here. Um, <clears throat> do we want to drop the Vorinclex or do we want to go for Pack Leader? I think we want to just draw all the cards. So at the risk of having this Pack Leader... Um, do we want to swing with this Pack Leader to draw a card? That's the question. They can double block this, this trades, this trade. I mean... Do we want to swing in with this? I think we do. We get to draw a card. I know that the captain... The captain does block us out. We're just getting flooded here, man. This is rough. One, two, three, four, five. Like, gosh dang. We just need to stop getting so much land. We need to draw. I think we're still sitting okay, though, but... They, they could also have another snakeskin veil. So, creating a few bad matchups here. They are going to block the Inquisitor Captain and the Vorinclex. So the Pack Leader is fine for now. They're going to bounce this Toski. These things are going to bounce. And I guess we'll kill the, the stronger one for sure. We're going to deal... We're, gonna, we're still getting off a lot of damage here. And we get to draw twice. So we can't just keep drawing land forever. Eventually we're going to get into some juicy cards here. And we at least get into one Uvenfold Oddity. So that is amazing. But this Moon Dancer is what's really got me a little bit nervous here. Oh boy, that's not good. Voice of the Blessed in a three-color deck. I mean... It's bold. It's bold. I guess it's working out. But that is a, that is a bold card. So bottom. Oh, gosh. Okay. I wonder if they've got like a snakeskin veil. This has vigilance, so they're obviously just going to swing in. And we have four life. Now we have Uvenvald oddities for days. Okay. Um, how do we want to play this? We're going to drop our snow cover forest. And there's no, there's no really downside to dropping an oddity. We just want to get this out. Yep, that's going to be fine. I, I'm going to swing in with everything again. I know the pack leader can just get chumped. I keep saying chumped. You, you know what I mean. Chump attacked, whatever you want to call it. And we finally get into some removal. Thank you. Thank you. We get into our blizzard brawl. We needed this so, so badly here. Okay. And this becomes, what do we even want to blizzard brawl? Like, what do we actually even want to blizzard brawl? I wish it would have been better as an inscription of abundance. That way we could save our pack leader here. So, now nah, the Liberator's not going to be able to cut it here. I am going to just say, yep, okay. We still get him down to six. We draw a card. We take two casualties. So, that is rough, though. The two casualties is, is pretty rough. Pretty rough here. Legendary creature. Nothing to target with the beside you. I guess we'll just go for the pack leader. I definitely want to get this Blizzard Brawl off, though. We can't... We, these things can't just keep getting bigger and bigger. So let's go for the pack leader. It'll come in as a 3-2 because of the oddity. And I think we, we're going to have to. I think we're just going to have to Blizzard Brawl one of these creatures here. Which one do we take, though? This is the, this is the question. Like, do we, we use the Moon Dancer whenever we gain life? Do we kill this thing so they like, can't gain life in the first place? But these things are also pretty big. I think we're just going to take the Moon Dancer. It's already got one up on us, and yeah, we're, we're going to do this. I think we're going to have to. So we take away the Moon Dancer, and uh, yeah, I think we're going we're, we're gonna to be okay. Because we have Tasky also, we have beside you who, or, yeah, we can do this for one because this is a legendary. So I don't think that'll come up. So we got an Inquisitor Captain, unfortunately, but fortunately... Um, yeah, we're just trying to stay positive. I don't know what we're fortunately in, in. Come on, no removal. No Skyclave Apparition. A Voice of the Bless is actually okay. I think I'd rather see a Voice of the Bless here. Um, okay. So, this is pretty cool here. For them. <laughs> for them. Here's the thing. We can go for Uvenvald Oddity. Hmm. I kind of want to use Beside You Who Endures on this Cave of the Frost Dragon now. Just get this out of the way. I think we're going to do that. I don't know if that'll... We have plenty of land anyway. And we... Uh, they, yeah, I think we're going to do this. I don't know if this might come in handy later. This could get a little bit grindy here. This could absolutely be get real grindy real quick. Yes, we get our Inscription of Abundance. And Inscription of Abundance is so, so good in this deck. Because nobody ever, ever expects the, um, the instant speed interaction 
They never ever expect it. So let's see what we can do here. We can go straight into the behemoth, which is really cool, but unfortunately they're just a little bit too tall. Yeah, they're just too wide and tall to really make that worth it. So we're not going to do that. I'm going to swing in and depending on their blocks, I'm going to flash in this inscription of abundance. And again, they're, they're never expecting it, which makes it so good. Like, they're just never in a million years expecting it. So they're just going to bounce off this Inquisitor Captain. I think what we're going to do... <clears throat> well, let's see Let's see how we want to do this. We're obviously doing them all. And we can put the, the counters on you, because we want to kill you. Uh, we'll gain the life, and then we will fight... Uh, you? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So we fight you first. You're gone. We're gonna trade. We're gonna trade, but we are gonna tramp. We are gonna trample over. Still gonna draw with the Toski. We get rid of both their creatures here. We draw again. Go with the pack leader. Or do, yeah, let's go for the pack leader over the liberator. So the Toski, man, just you gotta love the Toski. Just indestructible. Draw all these cards. Finally withering away. Getting rid of all these nasty creatures. Those, like I said, the way the green has to work is we have to remove those things with our fight spells. Because if these things get big, it's just over. Like, it, it's just too hard to, to overcome. So, 3-3. Three, three. Okay. Are we going to get our acorns? They're going to swing in with Vigilance here. We're just going to take that. We have plenty of life to spare. Don't really care. Okay, we get another Toski, which is kind of funny. Um, we go for Uvenvold Oddity. Yeah, I think we can do this. Let's just drop the Oddity, and then we can at least put the pack later. One of the pack leaders. I keep getting that mixed up. Um, go to a 4-3, which is nice. And we're going to be able to swing all. We're going to draw another card with the pack leader. And you can just see how this deck works. Like, it's just constant pressure. It's constant draw, constant stomp. It's just crazy. And even if they can block us out here, the Toski is just going to be able to just keep getting value and value and value. So, okay, we can go um, pack leader here to trample through, to draw an extra card. I don't think we... Um, kind of tempting to use this to draw an extra card. I guess not. Right, we'll, we'll, just, we'll, just, we'll just stick with our two cards. We're already drawing two, so I don't think that's that necessary. So we are just getting all of the acorns for the winter here, and we just get a lot of land here. Yeah, kind of yucky. Kind of yucky, but it's okay. We'll drop our old growth troll. I guess at this point, we can probably do a layer of the Hydra. We kind of want to get this on the board. Just so we can at least threaten them with the scary creature land in, in case they have a Doom Scar, which I highly doubt they would be running this deck, but you know, who who knows? And I think we're gonna take it. The Toski is just like look at we just keep doing damage and just keep just refueling our hand. Absolutely love Toski. We get our acorns for the winter. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more magic deck videos every single day. Beaker Moose, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. This is awesome here. This is a, a phenomenal star. This is almost as good as it gets. We're going to be able to go Kami of Bamboo Groves, get into a another forest turn one, and then go for Old Growth Troll, Old Growth Troll turn three, and then Toski turn four, hopefully. Okay, this is going to get crazy here. Okay, how do we want to do this? Let's go ahead and swing in here. We can go for Old Growth Troll immediately, or we can go for the Deliberator. I think it's still just better to just drop the Old Growth Troll. We can always go with Liberator at, um... We can Ninjutsu in at a later time. Not a big deal. We can wait for that. But Toski is going to be able... Between Toski and the Jukai... Ooh, they're not going to like this. That is going to be a little bit too slow, I feel like. Oh, oh, goodness. You almost feel bad. Okay, Toski. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. I hope you're hungry. I You're going to get all the acorns in the world here. Toski, go, Toski, go. Okay. We're going to swing in. We're going to do 18 damage, and we're going to draw two cards here. And they just get... Oh, my God. Oh, they know. Oh. G Cursor. How are we doing here? Uh, 69%. Hey, that's a good number. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. We got Kami of Bamboo Groves. Anytime you can start off with turn one Kami of Bamboo Groves with enough land in your hand. Ooh, that's a good move. Rune Crab. Oh, goodness. So here we go. Here we go. The race is on. This is going to be, I'm assuming it's just going to be some nonsense with some uh, mill. So let's see if we can just outrace him. We have a pretty decent matchup versus this deck because we, I mean, obviously being an aggro deck, we typically fare pretty well. Rune Crab. All right. You're going to go ahead and 
Get me down to 49 here. Wizards class, that's interesting. So you have no maximum hand size. I wonder, like, what do you what do you need a max? What do you need that big hand for? It's a little, it's a little uh, strange. Um, so we can go for Grizzled Huntmaster. I think we're gonna do that and ditch away the pack later. So let's go ahead and swing in. Maybe they give us some free damage. I don't think they've got any tricks up their sleeves. I don't think we can die or anything. So. Uh oh, come on. Okay, I was like, maybe maybe they don't want to, but they do. So we can't. <laughs> that that's a no go. But now we get to drop our grizzled hunt master, and now the hunt is on. Let's go ahead and get rid of this pack leader here. And the best thing that we can grab most of the time, what you're gonna want to be doing is, I guess we'll go ahead and get rid of these because they're not really the best cards to top deck into. So now we can get rid of those. The most of the, like 99% of the time, you're just gonna want a Lupine Harbringer. The the Harbringer pretty much just acts as a second Uvenvald Oddity. It's just a four drop that costs four, or well obviously, but it's a four, four, four drop, and it's trample haste. So it usually just acts as like just more trample haste beat stick action. And that's all you're gonna need it for, really, most of the time. So they go for Wizards class here. They're gonna draw. I don't know what's going on here. They're also running green, so uh, pretty pretty interesting choice here. I'm just going to drop our Uvenvold Oddity. This is just classic beatdown. Let's see if we can just beat their face in before they mill us out. But I'm trying to think now. I mean, are they even trying to mill us out? I don't know. I don't know. We are going to do some heavy damage here, though. And the next turn, we'll be able to drop the Harbringers and be able to curve into the Blizzard Brawl here. So, they're actually running red as well. This is a Tamir draw mill? Like, what is this? Okay. Interesting. And they got Galvanic Iteration. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. They're going to be able to copy the next spell. I wonder what they're running green for. Oh, Maddening Cacophony. Okay. So, you know, the typical mill cards here. But I'm not sure why they're running uh, green. It's a little bit strange to me. So, we do go down to 22, which is nothing to uh, scoff at. But I think we have lethal here. Yeah, we're, we're just going to have lethal, actually. So, it doesn't really matter. We're just going to go for the Harbringers here. We're going to be able to Blizzard Brawl doesn't really matter and we actually have lethal without the kami and that's gonna be it this deck is very very good very aggro the hunt is not on it's over now cj la road how we doing here this is uh not the best hand but it's not bad enough to mulligan we're also on the draw here so get another opera an opera opportunity to have a card for the old girl troll on turn three Got a Jukai Liberator. Nah, okay, let's go for the pack leader. One of the sneakiest things ever is having this Liberator getting ninjutsu in for two if they don't want to block here. <laughs> Giant Ox. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Ha okay, Jesus. That thing is huge with the toughness. It walls us off very well. I think we're just going to block here. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're just going to block here. That, that's fine. We do get another Sunk of the Force, which is really nice. We'll go for double pack leader here, but I don't know what the heck they're going to be crewing things. I mean, obviously with the giant ox, I would assume they've got like a, a Colossal Plow or something. So hopefully no Colossal Plow because they'll be able to crew this thing immediately with this ox. Born to Drive, 1-7. Okay, what in the world? That thing is insane. Okay, let's go for the Poseidon who endures. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Um... This sucks, because now that, I mean, it's now it's a 1 7, now it can uh, block us out and kill one of our creatures here. I think we go for um, Old Growth Troll. An inscription of abundance still wouldn't be enough to kill it. Wow, what a nightmare. Okay, I guess we'll go ahead and pass. This 1 7, I, I don't know how we're going to get over this. We need a Blizzard Brawl. Yeah, we're going to need a Blizzard Brawl on top of our inscription of abundance. So, okay. Let's see if we can get into five land, then we could swing in, do some other stuff. So, we get a snow covered forest, and uh, um, I think I think we it's kind of tempting. Can we take one casualty? I think if we swing all and Jukai Liberator in this end, we can guarantee ourselves a land, or we can just go for the oddity. Let's just go for the oddity, and these things will get bigger here. Yeah, we're we're better off just doing that. These things will get up to a 3-2, so they can block us out now on one of the pack leaders, but they can't just kill it now. And I don't have to worry about, like, Wandering Emperor or anything. Um, not, I don't know if this deck is either running this. This is, like, Mono White Crew, art or Vehicle Crew. So, we're still going to get 10 damage off, which is wonderful. And like I said, the pack leader getting those 1-1 one -one counters is just going to be the world. I want to be able to get... If we can get into one more, Search Hacker Mech. Okay, so those are going to be able to deal 2 damage. 
So one of our pack leaders goes down, which is unfortunate. They can actually use the Surge Hacker mech. So they can use the Surge Hacker mech with this giant fox, ox, ox, not a fox. But we do get into another land source, that's great. We're gonna be able to use Inscription of Abundance for the kicker. And this, this is like one of the best cards in the game, like in the game, in our deck. It really is because green doesn't have a whole lot of instant speed interaction. So this is gonna be really, 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 really good here. I am gonna swing with everything. Um, the pack leader is unfortunate. I kind of hope they go into the search hacker mech. But again, like I said, nobody ever... Nobody is ever expecting instant speed interaction playing mono green. So that is why the inscription of abundance is so brutally good. And I'm kind of expecting them to crew this. And if they crew this, now that this is a 5-5, five five, look at this. They're, nobody expects this. They never, ever, ever expect interaction with green. At instant speed, rather. So, we'll go ahead and do this, and because we've got a 6-6, six, six, it's going to be just big enough to crack the Search Hacker mech, and now that we have lethal, it is good game. They never expect that, that instance. They never do. John Rowe, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this sucker. Looks okay to me. Looks okay to me. I love the patriotic uh, American flag here. Let's get it going, John. Let's see what we can do. Oh, they take a mulligan. Well, we know what we do on this channel. We always give the friendly mulligan. Hello. Everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan. No one likes to do it. So that's what we're going to do. Let's see if uh, John Rowe can recuperate. Let's drop our pack leader. Hopefully we get into something a little bit more beefy. Oh, they drop us the Tamiyo. Hello. You love the hospitality. You love the, uh, this, ta this, uh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. I love how they're doing, like, a different, like, emotion per the, all the different emotes. I actually, I absolutely love that. So, now we got the pack leader. I am actually just gonna swing in here. If they wanna use, if they wanna block here, I will absolutely be using the abundance. And they actually don't, so. I'm trying to think here, do I wanna keep it? I think I'll keep it. I think I'll keep it, but, well, actually, no. I think, by the way, our deck curves out. I think we kinda just wanna do this now. I think we kind of just want to do this now. That way we can drop the old growth troll and then start blizzard brawling. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that. Maybe that's um, a little gutsy. I think that that's the best move, though. They. I mean, white probably is removing. Have some sort of removal. I mean, they've got plenty of different removal choices here. They're gonna make a one-one token. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. We're gonna still gonna be able to get into this old growth troll. Let's go ahead and swing in. I would think that they just chump block probably. So we're looking to just we're just looking to stomp our way in here. There's no card advantage. There's no nothing. We don't have any drawing, but we've got fighting. And we've got big spells, big big creatures. <laughs> Let's drop our old girl troll. Classic old but gold, old but grow. I was gonna try and like put growth and gold together, but it just didn't work. So uh, don't mind me. Imperial Blade Master. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. That is interesting. Whenever a sort of samurai or warrior control attacks alone, you get to draft a card. Go and flip through this here real right quick. Just to see what you can get here. And wow, we get an Uvenvald Oddity. I think Uvenvald Oddity is just gonna be better. Um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drop the Uvenvald Oddity over going for Blizzard Brawl. This is just way too much damage here, and because the, we do get a bump, bump up with the pack leader, so we're just sending the house in. This is just good, clean, mono green stomp. And they could take it, or I don't know. I mean, I think the way that they get back into this game is definitely going to be with um, Angel Fire Ignition. That is pretty much the only way I can see them coming back from this. But the cool thing about us is we have two Blizzard Brawls here, so they have got to be careful here. I think I think um, even Angel Fire Ignition, I, I don't think... Um, yeah, so there's the Angel Fire Ignition. Um... And a fire blade charger we're gonna be able to just blizzard brawl this out so they're gonna be able to draft a card but i'm not too worried about that okay whatever they draft i just i just don't think it's gonna be enough so they're gonna swing in here go up to 12 right oh this has double strike right right right. so this has double strike so they go up to 16 rather okay so we're just gonna have to clear the board here so let's go for blizzard brawl and well, i guess we'll give it to something with trample i guess just to stay uniform here and we've got, we've got, um, Indestructible, so we don't have to worry about this Double Strike or anything. And can we actually go, f I mean, can we go for Lethal here? We actually cannot, right? Because this would just do it, um, 6, 10, 15. That actually is not enough, but I kind of don't want them to have another Angel Fire Ignition target. So I'm actually just going to do this. Because I don't want them to have an Angel Fire Ignition, uh, target. So they can't actually play this unless they have, unless they have a 1-drop. 
So we go down to 19. We're gonna swing in. We're gonna take them down to one. And I don't, uh, they, they need a Doom Scar. Like, Doom Scar is gonna be really the only way. And even if they did, we can still get our old growth troll back. So I think we're gonna, it's gonna be a little bit too aggressive for our opponent right now. They're gonna go for the adversary. I don't think that's gonna be enough. They can pop this up to a 4 2. They can do that. And they do not, actually. That's actually pretty interesting. That means they get something else up their sleeve. Okay. Uh, they go, go ahead and give us the good game. Good game. So we're back at the hideout with the post-game wrap. I gotta just say, this deck is absolutely insane. When I first started playing this game, um, not this game, not Arena, but uh, or Magic in general, really, but um, when I first started playing this deck i was down at like 91 percent. i was kind of on a cold streak you know yeah you know i don't really like to like you know get obsessive about my number especially i mean towards the later end of the month you kind of want to get into the mythic qualifier i don't know if i'll make it i think i will but uh i think i'm sitting at like 13 right now but either way i said it was at like 91 percent. i climbed all the way up from 91 percent to the 1300s right about now so this deck is really really good it is i'm telling you it, it is the real deal the green is back it's got plenty of tools to do everything. The Blizzard Brawl, the only, uh, constructively speaking, I think the only thing I would probably tweak is maybe putting the Blizzard Brawl up to four. I just don't think enough people are running control enough to really warrant being scared of this. I mean, I think pretty much every deck is running creatures of some sort. Even Mill's running the Crab and stuff. So you can definitely go with the Blizzard Brawl here to four. But uh, yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing a whole lot of control that this would be dead against. So. It is what it is. This is the deck. I absolutely love Toski. Just letting us draw a million different cards in green of all colors. It's just so, so cool. Go ahead and leave me a like. The button looks just like this. It helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. It really helps out the channel tremendously. I appreciate all of you. Go ahead and like, or I already said that. But uh, yeah, just go ahead and tell me how ugly I am. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that wonderful stuff. It really helps out the channel. I think I'm just, um, I think I've repeated that at least one time. Maybe twice. I don't even remember. Either way, I'm kind of tired. I will see you on the next episode. Man, oh man. Out.